Welcome to the Harris Show. I'm your host, Jamal Radio Raheem Harris, and I have my sister and co-host, Angie Ange. What's good? So we are going to talk about a plethora of different topics. None of them are like related at all, <laughs> but um, we're just going to talk about it. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is Nick Cannon and all these damn kids that this man is having. Nick baby daddy Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> so, there is a clip i think it's just the city girls um he said that he was mm-hmm. having all these kids on purpose so what what do you think about him having all these kids and we can just get into that i mean look if somebody want to have hella kids have hella kids as long as you're taking care of them like his kids will be set for for life that's not the issue it's just like he having them very close yeah very like these women are all giving birth within like months of each other which is like a couple of them be like former wild now girl it's it's, um you know i was like more power to you if you want to have them babies because he was talking about how his health you know he just wants to have these babies because his health was bad and he wants to I, i get it but i was just like damn like back to back to back to back and like I saw this thing on Twitter, it was like saying like it's cool that you have all these kids, but there there's no way that they will all be able to get the uh, fair amount of time to spend with him. That's Cause, what, like that's that's a what, lot of kids. Like he's having all these kids, and yeah, he's financially they're taken care of, but like mm-hmm. he's not the only way to take care of anybody. Yeah. So, like you're not going to be able to give the right amount of attention to these kids already because there's seven of them um at least as we're recording this <laughs> of them. and you can't give them all the proper time number one and you're an entertainer on top of that so mm-hmm. you're gonna be gone for a long period of time so these yeah. Kids, yeah they financially they're good you know what i'm saying like but you they ain't gonna have a daddy in their house every day if any like a lot of them are a lot of them are going to be so they're all born in the same year i'm thinking like okay what if they all have their graduation the same day like you know what i mean like how are you going to like they're all the same (laughs) there's just no way possible you have that much time time in the world you can do that um yeah i find it weird that he doesn't get the same critique as like if a woman was having Mm-hmm. once you can't have seven kids yeah. man, like that but if a woman was having kids like back to back to back with different partners she would be labeled a certain that way. part it's not having a lot of kids it's different partners yeah so she would be labeled a certain way mm-hmm. i'm curious um to why he doesn't receive that same criticism um I personally, like i think like mm-hmm. you want to be with multiple people you know like the idea of monogamy is something that uh has never existed um mm. people want to act like it if it's, it's never existed like when these people were saying it's monogamy and we want one partner they was out here cheating on their partners and doing all type of stuff monogamy <laughs> is a very very like idea that people like to say usually when they want to like i don't want to be like sound like uh what's his name justin la boy Mm -hmm. Uh, but um usually it's like monogamy was like oh we're gonna stop women from having multiple Mm -hmm. i'm out here having all these parts Mm -hmm. you look at cultures around the world they be doing perfectly fine but um it's weird that he's getting all these kids and nobody's like i'm my thing is i wonder if these women have an understanding like they probably have an agreement but it's weird too because like Nick Cannon talks all this um, black like empowerment and mm-hmm. all this stuff, and the women that he are going after they all are like mm-hmm. lighter skin, closer to European, and mm-hmm. shit. But it always bothers me when like people who are like preaching all this stuff, and then like you never see them with a dark skinned woman, mm-hmm. like. Like you just never like they'll yeah they'll date him but he didn't recreate with any of them I don't think so I, don't know. I can't keep up I, I'm sure if we looked at all of his baby mamas 
they all probably have like the same curly hair with like mm -hmm. dye, yellow blonde type of brownish hair, all same build. Like it's probably what it is. And I didn't even look it up, you know, but mm -hmm. I'm sure um, just the women I see him with. I mean, more power to him. <laughs> I hope those babies are well taken care of. No pull out cannon. Jesus. Yeah, that's crazy. God damn. So uh -uh. I'm about to, he got me thinking, like, I ain't even got no kids. I'm like, damn, I need to get a vasectomy. God damn. <laughs> he having the kids for you. Yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I can reverse that shit if I wanted, like. I ain't trying to have no kids. Another, I ain't, I want to be like an old daddy. I don't care what people say. An uh, old daddy. I want to be like 35, 40 years That's old. That's not old, um, well, I guess, in terms of. Yeah, it is. I'll be 60 when my kid is 20. That's why I said. Because I remember in middle school, um, someone's parents were like 60. I was like, dang. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I don't mind because I want to get all the stuff, the fuck shit out of here. I mean, there's always going to be the fun shit. No, I said fuck. Oh, fuck shit. I think it's the fun shit. I'm like, damn, you can have fun with the baby. I can have fun. I'm going to be like good. Like, but I want to get like all the like experimenting with shit and mm -hmm. stuff out of here. Like, yeah. Like, people, the stuff that people assume about my relationship and what actually happens in my relationship is the funniest shit. But I ain't about to go out here and explain. I was like, that's so random. But, like, I want to get, like, all the stuff that, like, we want to do. I want to travel to places that we can't travel with kids. Yeah, you definitely got to get all that out the way because and I be kids are very time consuming. Kids, they, always, they all seem to be fucking miserable. Like, yeah. Like, like yeah, y'all can't fucking travel. Or I mean, you can not travel with kids. You can't do what you want to do. And then I'm seeing people with kids who just, you, you wouldn't think they got kids. <laughs> but uh, we no got comment. <laughs>
I don't think they should be controlled like that. Like they should have mm-hmm. choices in something. That shit is like, I don't want to compare it to slavery. Cause that might be extreme. Um, <laughs> as a baby walks by my fucking apartment. Uh, that, I don't want to compare it to slavery, but it, I don't know what else to compare it to. It's it's ownership. It is literally. Because <laughs> it's not slavery. She has to. She has to work when they tell her to work. She has to dance the way they tell her to dance. She has to perform. She has to do I I all this stuff. It's not slavery, because slavery, there's a lot worse shit that was. Yeah, I mean, obviously, but it's just. I don't want to compare it to slavery, but we just don't have anything to really compare it to. It's, like, it's just ownership. Like, he owns her life. He, he, which, what, um, threw me, because, I mean, the whole situation is sad, but the, the one thing that had me, like, what, like, she can't get her birth control out like he's not I, allowing her to get birth control taken like, out hearing the audio i'm like i didn't even listen i couldn't well because the, the podcast that i listened to it went deep into it mm. like, like it went deep into it and it was like talking about like she you hear it in her voice and i'm like you hear that like she this is what's happening like i feel like if if anything there should be levels to it like mm-hmm. Clearly, Britney Spears is not um, fully stable. We How know, can you be? But she's also, like, people don't understand, like, she's been in the public eye, sexualized since she was a child. Mm-hmm. Everywhere she goes, paparazzi's there. Everywhere she goes, mm-hmm. everything she does, cameras are on her. And I will be crazy. And she's on medication. Not her choice. She's so you never know what they're even giving her to but keep the, her that way. The biggest thing is the no choice on what you can do. That's the thing that bothers me the most. Like if I wanted mm-hmm. to get mental health, like I wanted to go to a therapist, your dad, who you're probably going to be talking about, yeah, <laughs> pick. So he's probably gonna pick somebody that's like on his side. Oh, I'm sure he's paying all these people. Her with her money. That's with her money, money. and he gets her paid. Money. He gets paid sixteen grand a month. Like, like, why are you getting paid to? Why are you getting paid number one? Like, right. even if you like, even if they had control over, um, you, I guess. Why are they getting paid? Mm-hmm. Like, so it's a job. It's basically a job. You're getting paid to control what I do. So not only can I control anything, you get paid out of my money and you control what I do with my money. Yep. That's insane. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if Britney Spears is married or anything like that. She has a boyfriend. They're not letting her get married. But like, I don't know how she can even have a, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. To keep, get this serious relationship with the partner and I have to go through all this. Like they should let the partner then um, have some say. Mm-hmm. Like, this is insane. If she, can, if you believe she can have a healthy relationship, then that means she's capable of taking care of herself. She yeah. is capable of taking care of herself. They just don't want to give that up. And her dad is an abusive man, so he's not I, going. You know what? And I feel like disrespect. I feel like I owe Britney Spears an apology because I always saw Free Britney, Free Britney, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why are we mm-hmm. this rich white woman? I always kept like, why are we freeing this rich white woman? what the fuck free britney she's free i was like she's white in america you know she's not though and then i was like and then i happened to listen to this podcast and it's not because like i saw the topic the podcast drops a episode that's like 25 minutes to 30 minutes every day um i listen to it either i go on my walk and i listen to it or i'm cleaning the dishes or cleaning the house in the morning put the podcast on just start doing what i'm and i'm listening and I'm like, what the fuck? And then I realized that this shit goes on all over. And she's just a, a known star. Mm-hmm. There was a case that they talked about. Um, this dude, his, his family had him on it, right? And he's like, he has uh, disabilities and all this. His family was all like, yo, he doesn't need this. They went to the courts. The court denied them. Mm-hmm. He told, they told them, he doesn't need this. Like, we don't want to do, have them under this. They said, nah. Yep. Nah. So, 
it took him 12 years to get off of it. And it's like, if the people who are taking care of this person or have all this control are saying he doesn't need us controlling him, and mm -hmm. you try it, what the fuck? What does that even say? You know, I've seen one because there's a documentary. I don't know if it's still on Netflix, but there's a documentary about this. And it was like this rich guy who was like 70s, 80s, 80 year old. Um, and he got remarried into a family like he was good to go his like estranged niece or something put in some paperwork saying like oh he needs this like he can't take care of himself right she won it they gave her complete access to his life she put him in a nursing home mind you he's married like he's living a whole life right now she put him in a nursing home took control of all his financials won't let the wife see him like people really are going to extremes in these situations and it's usually for money it's like that movie it's all yeah that's what i was saying like that movie is very real and that's the thing it's like i the reason why i watched that movie is because i heard the fucking podcast mm -hmm. you know when i texted y'all like yo have y'all seen that mm -hmm. I, I listened to the podcast that day and then they had like um links to stuff you can watch and then that movie was it's so that movie she was trifling what's it called um i care a lot i think i care yeah i care a lot y'all should whoever's listening to this go watch that movie it's crazy she was definitely <laughs> i'm glad she got what came to her at that end of that movie i thought she was getting off scot-free with everything i was like god damn it mm -hmm. i was sitting there like is she getting off <laughs> Like when old boy and her, uh Don't tell it, don't tell it, don't tell it. Just in case someone goes on. That movie's been it's out good though, go watch it. So, and she went through, what she did to the old boy, I was like, you doing all this and you scamming. You yeah, scam. like, that's what I'm saying. That's, I feel like there's so many situations where people are paying off doctors and stuff and, and the courts just to- The entitlement. Have this. That movie yeah. is literally, if you don't know about the Britney Spears situation, watch that movie and then go into the situation and you would, it would be like, mm -hmm. oh my God. There's a documentary on Hulu about the Britney Spears situation too. Yeah, it's pretty uh, good. Free Britney Spears. Uh, this is sad what is happening to her. Oh, yeah. um, and y'all know if I'm saying free any <laughs> white person. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's real. If I'm in here saying free a white woman, mm -hmm. something's bad is happening. That's all I'm going to say on that. Yeah. We're going to move along to something positive, and then we got two more, because I, I want to get some positive. <laughs> so um, there has been a lot of music to come out mm -hmm. the past couple weeks. Um, so what are you currently listening to? What album did you like? Who you like? What songs? All that information. Um, I'm currently listening to Her's album. It is so good. I was like, I was, um, I don't know. I kind of kept putting it off because I was like, I don't know if it's going to be like really, you know, because her other projects are super good. So I was like, I don't want to listen to it yet. This case is not that good and I'm going to be disappointed. But I was not disappointed. It was really good. Um, my own um, come through obviously is a good one. Um, she got a couple. I don't even. I don't know my uh, song title. I just play the whole album straight through, and I'm like, oh yeah, I like this song. <laughs> wow. But her album was good. And even like the song with Little Baby. That one was good. It wasn't like it was different, but it was good. In my opinion. I like Lil Baby on like R and B songs though, because he fits. Mm -hmm. Because like, his voice is, I don't know, his voice is kind of like it fits R and B song. I can't listen to yeah. the Lil Baby album because like it starts sound repetitive, but like he fits that lane perfectly. Um, mm -hmm. What else have you been listening to? That's it. Um. Yeah, and I've been listening to Kehlani all over again. <laughs> oh. I've been listening to that album like it just came out. And Ari Stay Better Baby. I don't know why. Like one day I was just like, let me re-listen to this. And then I've just been listening to it ever since. So, but as far I need to listen to um Snow Allegra's new album. Yeah. That's yeah. next. So, yeah, I'm actually going to listen to that pretty soon. So mm -hmm. I listen to a lot of albums. Um music is pretty much 
I listen to a lot of music. Let's put it that way. Um, I listened to Tyler the Creator's album. Mm. Um, I liked it. Uh, I'm not the biggest Tyler fan because of his earlier music, personally. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of anti-black, anti a lot anti insert. <laughs> he was <laughs> everybody. But like the growth that you're hearing in there, I enjoyed it. And it's like a gangster grills, like the mix mm. era. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I listened to Doja Cat's album. I still haven't listened to that either. Uh, I'm going to do a review on it, but it wasn't given what it was supposed to give. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Vince Staples, I just heard his album. It's solid. Um, I don't know what I was expecting from it. It wasn't what I was expecting from it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I got to give it another listen because... You know, I, w I w went in with expectations and I usually don't go in with like expectations. I went in with like a certain sound and it was completely different. So, mm -hmm. um, but some people that I really enjoyed that aren't like stars, uh, Cautious Clay, um, his album is Fire, uh, Reggie Snow, Fire. Um, Are these uh, rap? Cautious Clay is a singer. Reggie Snow okay. is a rapper. He's like rapper, but he'd be like having melodies and shit on his songs. Mm. Um, their projects is fire. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good music that came out. Uh, the J. Cole, well, Boss song with J. Cole and Lil T. Mm -hmm. um, I really like that song. I didn't think I would like it because I don't really like Lil TJ at all. <laughs> True. <laughs> Every time I hear it, Lil TJ on a song, I'm like, what is? I like Lil TJ on other people's songs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've heard like, song, I'm like, bro, you ass, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I personally don't like him because of that whole mm -hmm. situation that he had with old girl. Um, what's her name? She East African. I don't know. Ruby Rose, I think. Ruby Rose. Uh, oh, was that him? Yeah, I think it was him. Oh. Yeah. Ruby Rose is on fire right now too. She ain't that good though. But uh, I know that. I'm just saying. She but I didn't I don't like I don't like how that situation and I know a lot of dudes probably be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, nah, I don't like how he handled that situation. Mm -hmm. Like publicly. Like that I didn't even realize that was him. I didn't even connect the dots on that. Yeah, I think it was little TJ. And if it ain't little TJ, then I'm sorry, little TJ. But uh <laughs> One of them rap. I think it's little TJ though. Mm. Um yeah, it was little TJ. Okay. Yeah, I knew it. See, I, I don't forget stuff like that. Cause I'm like, okay, I put that down. <laughs> I mark it down. Not his music, if it was strong enough, I ain't gonna lie. I would have overlooked a lot. Oh my god. Like if, if Kendrick did what Ruby uh did what Lil TJ did? I ain't gonna lie. Would have overlooked it. I'd have been like part of the game. <laughs> but Lil TJ's music ain't strong enough um, mm. to be like that. And like it's a lot of it's I, the singy rap. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it. If you if, I, if you don't separate yourself, like there's nothing distinct about your voice that separates mm. from other people. Then I'm just gonna listen to some actual R and B. Yeah, like it doesn't you don't like Drake for example, his voice separates itself from other people, so he can get away with it. I'm not the biggest fan of his singing, but like he can get away with it because it's like all right, this is different. Mm -hmm. You sound like everybody. You sound like a boogie and all these people who I think is trash too. Then I can't vibe with it. But um, <laughs> radio right. Chase, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna plug myself there. This is <laughs> Amazon, SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify, all that. My last playlist I thought was pretty fire, personally. But I think all my playlists are fire. <laughs> so um, there's a lot of good music. Um, there, the question I have for you is: There's festivals and concerts coming back. Um, mm -hmm. Are you going to any? I know you're probably not going to festivals. Are you going to any concerts? I'm definitely not going to festivals because, you know, um, no, I don't. concerts, I don't know. <laughs> I'll definitely want to go to some, but I feel like the way grad school about to have me, 
I don't think I'm gonna be going. You're gonna have to make time to have fun. Have yeah, time. I don't know. <laughs> work. It's like work, you gotta make time to, you know, you work in four. It's, it's, I, it's gonna be a, a hard transition because, you know, I just spent a year and a half doing whatever I wanted. I and now I gotta go back to being responsible. It's gonna be easier for you because you're not one of those people who are, you're older. Mm-hmm. a lot of people who are probably in your program and you're also like um like people who struggle are people who are like fresh out of uh, mm-hmm. college you know transitioning because the grad school teachers aren't going to care as much as your mm-hmm. and stuff like that so i feel like my professors didn't really care so <laughs> um, but um, i mean there's a couple festivals well, I'm, I was going to go today in Vegas. I'm going to sell my ticket. Oh, you're not going? Um, because there's a lot. The I bought two festival tickets. So the Dreamville is in October. Mm-hmm. Day in Vegas is in November. So I'm like, I don't want to keep requesting days off. One, I got to get an Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm like, I don't want to request, uh, keep requesting. Oh, I'm going to be gone because I'm going to be gone for what friday saturday sunday is day in vegas and then i gotta come back monday i'm not gonna Mm -hmm. go to work on monday dreamville is a friday it's on a saturday so i get into denver on friday we spend time in denver on friday um the concert's at 7 30 at night or six at night Mm -hmm. dreamville artist so i can explore denver some more go to there explore it some more on sunday but leave back sunday and then go Mm -hmm. I don't have an adjustment I got to do like and a day in Vegas too I was initially hyped by the lineup because the lineup is amazing but I'm like you know mm-hmm. what I'm gonna just start going to hella concerts again yeah intimate uh, I'm gonna start going more and actually Santa Cruz even though there's a lot of white people there are smaller venues I'm cool with that you know I'm gonna go see like there's this group called Brass Tracks I don't know if you know mm-hmm. who they are mm-hmm but they're on tour, but the, I really want to see Toby. They have Toby, T-O-B-I. It's like the capital T, capital mm-hmm. O, capital B. There's a lot of Toby, so we got to... <laughs> so I'm going to go see... I want to see him, and he's on tour with them. So I'm going to go see them, but I'm going to go see them in Santa Cruz. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to go see any of them. They're, and a lot of these people are at the festival. So many people I want to see at the festival. That's why I was like, dang. But then I'm like, I don't really... I don't really want to do a festival. I'd just rather wait till they go on on tour. I want to see Lucky Day. I do want to go to that Her Festival, though. That shit sold out. Yeah. I was, I was like, dang. Right by me. So I was like, it's only an hour away from me. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to get a hotel or anything like that. And I was looking at it, and I was like, I should go to this. But I just bought the Day in Vegas tickets. So I was like, mm-hmm. I need um, well, I, I ain't got no money to be spending on shit like that. <laughs> And I was like, I'm gonna wait. And that shit sold out so fast. I was like, oh. yeah. The lineup was good. All these, I feel like all these festivals lineups have been crazy good. But they in Vegas so, they got the best lineup. They got the best lineup. But since I've been in one day in Vegas, I know how it's gonna go. You're mm-hmm. not gonna be able to see everybody you wanna see. That's the thing. That's a thing I was like not tripping about. Cause I'm like, the artists, I'm pretty sure all the artists I want to see are probably going to be playing at the same time. And that's why I like, they're all like the yeah, that's smaller why I, artists. I was weighing in like Day in Vegas or Dreamville. And I was like, I want to see Ari Lennox. Mm-hmm. I want to see, I actually want to see out of all the people is Omen, which is mm-hmm. like, you know, a lot of people are like, Omen, who's Omen? Omen is the one I want to see because he has this album called Elephant Eyes that's not on no streaming services. I can't get <laughs> I don't think the samples or something got cleared, but I was like, yeah, I'd rather see them than go to Day in Vegas. And even though most of them, I think all of them actually are going to be there, I was like, yeah, I'm going to catch each and every one of them on when they're on tour. I personally like going to concerts more than festivals. And I'm getting. But J. Cole's not, J. Cole's not um, doing the Dreamville, right? That's fine. I've seen J. Cole. Like, I know. I was about to say, you already seen him, but. <laughs> like, I would love to see J. Cole again, but like, I'm like, I'm good. Like, I'm good. Like, it's okay. To not see J. Cole. Now, mm-hmm. what, the only person, like, um, there's a couple people, like, 
I said Lucky Day already. Um, who else is on there? Um, Tiana Major. It's like a lot of R&B people that I want to see. But I'm like, mm-hmm. you know what? I don't want to, I don't know if I want to see them at a festival. Um, that type of crowd, it's not going to be like what I want. Exactly. So I'm just going to sell my ticket. I'm going to sell mm-hmm. it closer to the date. Um, but I'm not trying to make no profit. Like I'm gonna sell it for the exact price that I got it for. I don't want no profit off this. Like mm-hmm. I, ain't, I ain't gonna be one of them people who are like, I need to make a profit. Like nah, I'm not going. But I'm not going. Um, don't mean I need to make more money. Like I want somebody. Yeah. Else. So I'm gonna wait till like they all sell out, and then somebody who couldn't go, um, like because they sold out, then I'm gonna sell them the ticket instead of like waiting to sell out trying to sell it for more i'm like no nah, i don't need that. yeah people i hate oh they get on my nerves with that. Like, even like the her thing right um because when i look again because i was gonna actually make a decision i probably shouldn't make uh, mm. and people were reselling the tickets so like i just don't understand that culture of buying tickets buying more than you're going to actually use and then reselling it at a higher price like i don't get why people do that that's I get it's capitalism, but I'm like, so why? I'm like, why though? Like, what does that do for you? Oh yeah, you have no life. You waited till eleven o'clock on the dot, and you bought six tickets that you're not going to be able to go. So you're going to sell mm-hmm. five of them. Like, bro, it's dumb. And like, I hope all those people can't sell their tickets. And, <laughs> and they're stuck. And they're stuck with all them tickets. <laughs> really, they're going to be able to go. Mm-hmm. but um let us know what festival you guys are interested in going to some concerts all that um don't be contacting me about the day in vegas ticket until we get <laughs> see this shit uh don't contact me i'll contact i know how to get rid of the ticket mm-hmm. we'll go through probably day in vegas instead of going through y'all little sites and stuff like that i don't want people to get scammed or think i'm scamming them all that stuff but we're going to move along um, to a topic that you sent um, that I have mm-hmm. really talked about because I get pissed off. Um, college, Why? College players can now get paid for their likeness. So mm-hmm. I'll, you're going to find out why. Uh, go ahead. Okay. But, okay. I mean, I, I could probably know why, but I just thought it was like about time that they can get paid. Yeah. I was just, that was me. That was just my thing. Like, it's been a long time coming. (laughs) And I was just happy for them. But, like, it took this long. (laughs) Like, this long. um, My thing is, uh, well, do you have more to add before I go on? No, because I'm really curious what you're going to say. I don't know if I'm right. Good that they can get paid off their likeness. Mm -hmm. They're not getting paid by the university. Mm-hmm. Still making all this money off of them mm-hmm. not receiving shit they can like oh i can sign an advertisement deal with the local whatever or nike or whoever but the university ain't losing no money on this yeah so the university ain't paying them they need to be on the payroll my whole thing is they are still employees whether you want to consider them employees or not they are employees reason why they are employees because they have to take classes at a certain time. They have yeah. to practice at a certain time. They have to fucking not work. <laughs> they have to do all these things. They have to put in a certain amount of hours. They got to do all these things that our employees do that the coaches are doing and getting paid for and all this stuff. The tutors are getting paid. Everybody's getting paid except the athlete. And yeah, mm-hmm. they had a big star on the team now can go get paid. But what about the person on the bench who doesn't get in, who doesn't see the court or the field until their junior year, so their freshman and sophomore year, they can't get an advertisement deal. They can't mm. get their likeness because they're not used. Yeah. So they're still not getting paid. Like the, the likeness stuff benefits people who are seen. Like if you're not seen, you're not getting paid anything. But you mm-hmm. still practice you still have to go study hall you still have to do everything yeah. you get no money so that don't make any sense why they are not on the payroll why they don't receive any any cheddar doesn't make any sense eventually it's gonna happen 
Like the, the Supreme Court, everybody's like, yo, NCAA, this shit is wrong. Like mm-hmm. white people who don't believe black people should have any rights are like, yo, this is wrong. They don't mm-hmm. respect anything. If they think it's wrong, you know something's wrong. Republicans think it's wrong. Republicans and Democrats agree on something, then you know you fucked up. Because they don't yeah. agree on nothing. They can disagree and just to disagree. Yeah. I when you put it like that, that is true. Like these a lot of these players aren't gonna be getting paid. But I just thought it was like like finally they can get some mm-hmm. something out of this yeah, because like even the people who aren't I think it's gonna benefit uh basketball players more than so than the football players mm-hmm. because basketball i see your face mm-hmm. i see you football you're covered i don't see your face the quarterback's gonna get paid probably be the receiver the lineman um and probably like some corners the db mm-hmm. but like i don't know you can't pay everybody on the football team number one and number two like <laughs> the quarterback is a star the receiver mm-hmm. if he's good is a star um, the running back, same thing. And the linemen are going to get a whole bunch of, like, buffets and food and a whole bunch of shit like that. But, like, this only benefits a certain amount of people when they should be employees getting paid and it benefits the whole team. Yeah. Like, some schools, like, in areas where they have a lot of money, like, I don't know, uh, Miami or... Miami University don't have money, but like a city like Miami, Mm -hmm. a lot of players are going to probably be able to get deals, you know, but like if I go to school in fucking Wyoming, (laughs) what is out there for me, you know, I can go to the bar in Wyoming and yeah, I'm getting paid um, $500 in Wyoming to a college student who has room and board covered is um, a lot. I Mm -hmm. can, some people are like, they don't even deserve that. But if I'm putting in, they're not getting nowhere close to the amount that they should get. No yeah. Close. Have y'all ever been on a college campus? Look at every advertisement on that motherfucker. They are all. I know. They are all, all athletes. athletes. All athletes. Mm-hmm. You know, women and men athletes. And That's like, true. Like Santa Clara University just won the national championship for soccer. They mm. just won. Women have just won. You know what they could be getting? Bread, money. <laughs> it, like, they should have all got paid. Yeah. Y'all can pay these people, and people be like, oh, the university would go bankrupt. No, they won't. No, they won't. I did the math. I did, the, I was <laughs> bored one day. I was like, if they made this amount, and the athletes made this amount, like $10 more than minimum wage at some of these universities. They not even getting five percent of what the fuck the university is. It's not. So I'm like, why, why, why are we so against athletes getting money? Mm-hmm. Because like, why are we such against? Like, why are we against it? I don't get it. What the hell? They need to be getting paid. Paid. They need to be getting. They don't even need. I'm not even so, need to get like so some. A lot of them aren't gonna go professional. 99.9999% of them aren't going professional. For every star that's going professional, because look, football, there's one league really. There's Canadian mm-hmm. football. Yeah, okay. Who's going over there? There's the NFL. There's like hundreds of universities. Mm-hmm. There's Division One, Two, Three. So there's a whole bunch of universities. Yeah. Football teams have what, like 60 people on their roster, 70 people max. So somebody's not making it. Yeah. What what do they do? They get degrees and stuff. But like if I play football for four years, I have no work experience, no internships, no nothing. And I, I know. So when I get out of school, I don't have nothing but this degree to stand on. I haven't been working. I've been playing this sport my whole life. Yeah. No advantage. Well, me, I've been working. I got all this. I did out with a degree, mm. got internships, got work experience. Who are we hiring? Yeah. That makes no sense with a business to hire you. Yeah, you got your degree, but you haven't done shit. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Um, they are using these athletes in a way that like if it was done in any other industry 
we will have a problem. People are like, but they're getting free education. One, it ain't free. <laughs> are working they ass off. Like, they are doing the work. How is it free? Because if they get hurt, or they decide- it's over. That's what I'm saying, like- Yeah. And they decide, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Guess what happens? Their scholarship is fucking gone. No. If it was free, all years would be covered. But it's year to year base. Mm -hmm. It ain't free. Like, yeah. pay these people. Take some out. And these coaches be making like 25 million over three years. That's and insane. And I'm like, all they're doing is coaching. And I get it's valuable. They're not mm -hmm. playing. At the end of the day, they're not on the field. It's insane. Y'all deem and y'all make them go to school, like, and people be like, they don't have to go to school. Yeah, they do. Like, NBA, you can't go straight out of high school into the pros. You have to at least be out of high school for like a year. You have to be like 19. You can go to G League, but if you're not good enough, you have to go to college. Yeah. For at least a year. Football, you have to go to school for three years. Dang. Three years? And y'all saying, like, they don't need to go to college. They do. They want to play in the NFL. Yeah. That's the only way they're going to get looked at. If you're not playing, if you, like, I'm going to sit out of profession or football for three years, you're going to lose one. You're going to lose not playing it. And then you have no visibility. How are you going to make it? Mm -hmm. Damn. It's just like how college is a scam, how we have to pay to get educated. Yep. And how our bachelor's degrees are slowly becoming. Slowly? I feel like it's very rapidly. Well, <laughs> I got experience working in every educational fucking level. And mm -hmm. even I'd be struggling. I'd be taking a deal that I know I'm better than. I'd be like, man, if I didn't have this rent, I'd tell yeah. you, put it this way. If my student loan was paid off, I'll be fine working a minimum wage job. I will be perfectly fine working at Walmart for 20 hours a week. Mm -hmm. That's fine. My student loan is the biggest thing. You know, but like you have to, our bachelor's degrees don't even mean shit now. I don't know. Like that's yeah. like level for some of these jobs now. They're like, mm, you got a bachelor's on what? <laughs> Like, what else? This job was so particular. I was like, y'all already know who y'all hiring. There was like, you need a bachelor's degree and you need four years experience working with kids. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. And then they said, you have to be from this area. Um, Dang. Be familiar with um, the program. Like, so basically a graduate or a student who went through the program. And I'm like, all right. So you're looking for somebody in particular because you are not accepting outside people yeah basically and that's like every job though even mm -hmm. even like when you when you apply to the schools like i don't know if this is a secret or not but like for instance i don't want to throw maricosta out there well fuck it i don't like maricosta people maricosta we know about the, the jobs that are open before the jobs get posted meaning i could apply to the job get educated on the job do all that talk to the people who are hiring, get all the background information a month or two before everybody else. Mm. Like, so we have a head start on people and then it gets released to the public, but they already know who they're hiring nine times out of 10. Mm -hmm. Don't usually hire outsiders, which is the person in the position is fucking fantastic. Yeah. They don't hire, they hire within. They don't hire from out. Yeah, that's a lot of jobs. So it's, it's like, yeah, the job is posted, but they already know who they're hiring. Like the job I got, um, yeah, it was posted. I was already hired technically. Mm -hmm. So people went through the whole interview process, but I had the job already. I just had to wait mm -hmm. you know, until like it's official, they can make it. <laughs> and I was like, that's, and I, and I benefit from it. I'm not gonna say like I didn't benefit, but I'm like, that's fucked up too. That's it is. That I get the job before somebody and they think they have a chance at the shit. It's like silly. This does not make me excited for a career, I'm telling you. I, that's why I'm <laughs> like, I'm gonna go back. I gotta go back to school, even though I don't fucking want to. Mm -hmm. 
because I'm like, I'm going to keep missing out jobs that I, I'm qualified for because I don't have a fucking master's degree. Yeah. Like when they put like, oh, you need your master's degree or 10 years working in that field. I'm like, well, how the fuck can I have 10 years working in that field? And I don't have a master's degree. Mm -hmm. So. It's, it's a scam, but we got to do it. We want the life we deserve. I don't want to go back to school, though. I'll be like debating like, man, I could apply. And I'm like, man, I don't fucking want Just to do it. it. <laughs> Or Fuck, no. Yellow. Fuck, no. Fuck it. Get a job that I gotta pay that fucking debt back. Maybe on. you'll find a job that'll pay it off. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pay this shit off though. Yeah, I'm just trying to be optimistic. <laughs> I'm like, I'm at the point where I'm like, man, I ain't buying no house. Like, I don't even know if I want to buy a house at this point. Not in California. I'm at the point where I'm like, you know what? The only way I'll buy a house if we all put our money together and buy a house, but we don't live in it and rent that shit out. Mm. I'm because I'm like, it don't make no sense to buy a house for what? This market for what? <laughs> for why? I can live in an apartment. The only thing I got to worry about is electricity, mm -hmm. and gas. If something goes wrong in my apartment, these niggas got to fix it. Not me. Yeah. <laughs> like, let, oh, our shower is not working. Come fix this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, and we still got carpet in my, in my apartment. Everybody else got a hardwood floor. Because we not, we not, we not doing nothing. Me and Aisha are not doing nothing. I'm not getting mm -hmm. it. Nope. Yeah, I know you're on your way home. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna move on to our last thing. What movies are you looking forward to? Oh, okay. So when I have this written down, and I have Black Widow, but I seen it on Friday, so that's crossed off my list. It was good. You saw it? Oh, yeah. Oh, before we get into this, right? Tell me why AMC. Uh, my, you know how the AMC thing. Mm -hmm. I don't be checking my fucking email like that because I ain't working. So I'm like, I ain't, what the fuck I need to check my email every day? These niggas then charge me, like they automatically re up me on the thing because I never canceled. Because mm -hmm. they was like, oh, we're going to stop the fees. And so I got re upped on the thing uh, for the month. Mm. So I'm like, oh, fuck, you know? And I looked at my email, so I'm like, I can't even dispute this because they emailed me before. <laughs> they already told me this why you checked email. And Might then, as well use it. Shoot. That's why I'm saying I'm like, fuck man, I'm about to use I'm about to go to movies every day this, or three days. This <laughs> I don't want to go because Black Widow's the only thing that I'm like, okay, I wanna see. You don't wanna see Fast Nine? I haven't seen Fast since uh six. I'm saying I'm a little behind. But... I've even watched the one where like Paul Walker was still alive. Mm. The last one I saw. Oh, so you're you're below six then. I think six. Anyways, that's, that's that's the one talking. when the rock was all like, um, you got a big ass forehead. I think that was five. Okay, that's the last one I saw. Mm -hmm. But um, go ahead, go into your movies. Um, Black Widow was good. I recommend it. It's like some parts I could have did without, but it's it was good for what it. Um, I'm looking forward to a lot of Marvel movies that are coming out within the next two years. Thor, Captain Marvel. Okay, what movies are you looking forward to that are coming out this year? I don't know the years. Like, that's the problem. Like, I don't know what else is coming. Oh, Candyman. <laughs> Candyman. Even though I was like, mm, I'm not really about to watch Candyman like that. But now I am. I'm going to go. I, I, I look good to me. Candyman. It looks so good. I'm like, man, when, I was like, I thought it came out because they pushed it back and kept pushing it back. I'm like, mm -hmm. she was already out. I thought I just missed it. So I'm definitely going to see Candyman. Um, the Ryan Reynolds movie when like um, he has his glasses. And like it's like a video game type of shit. I think it's called Free Guy. 
Don't know what that is. I want to see that based off of like the I want to see like technology and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, Space Jam too. Um, yeah, that's going on HBO though. I'm Space not going through this rap. I love Space Jam. I'm going to the movie to see Space Jam. I mean, I might as well. The fuck, I ain't got to pay for it. <laughs> um, I'm going right to HBO Max. <laughs> now, it. HBO Max it. has like I've watched all the movies that I like, really wanted to watch. Mm-hmm. Movie theaters, but I love the movie theaters personally. Like I really like I might keep the AMC. Um, even though I was just like a, like damn, I should look down my email. I probably would have kept it. Um, but I like going to the movies. I love popcorn. Mm-hmm. So I love buying the popcorn and I pay like the eight, nine dollars for popcorn. I know that's insane to some people. But um I do it. Like I saw the Hitman's bodyguard, Hitman's wife bodyguard, mm-hmm. um, with Samuel Jackson. I personally enjoy that movie a lot. Um it's not like I don't think people should go in there expecting like a spectacular thing, but it's funny to me. Uh, Selma Hayek is hilarious in that. Um, well, the movie did I go to the movies and see? This was my first time back at the movie theaters and oh, since uh, watching the photograph. Damn, that's a long time. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was definitely like uh, I watched movies. Um, I don't know, like the movies going to the movies is like an experience like Mm -hmm. like certain movies i gotta see in the movie theaters space jam i gotta see in the movie theaters just because i have the amc thing Mm -hmm. like if i didn't have the amc thing i would watch on hbo but like like superhero movies i gotta see that and oh yeah you have to watch like every marvel movie i'm i'm definitely watching i'm behind on marvel like only i need to catch up i need to watch loki and falcon and winter soldier Uh, i gotta watch loki um, I watch WandaVision, but I don't need to watch okay. Black Widow, right? No. Okay. Um, but I'm behind. Loki, they should have dropped Black Widow they before were. they dropped. But Black uh, Widow didn't come out, they didn't kept getting pushed back. Yeah, because they shouldn't have, they should have dropped Black Widow before they did the other Avenger movie. I was like, what the fuck? The timeline was off like that. It came out after Civil War. Mm-hmm. Just off of what I know about the character. It Literally, it should have been right after Civil War, then it should have been Black Widow. Because I'm not gonna give away. But there's just a part in there. I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> now after watching like Infinity Wars and Endgame, mm-hmm. like he's dead. So Exactly. That is, that's what we we're saying. We're like, well, we know she's gonna live in this movie because she died in Infinity. Uh, not Infinity. In game, um, should let Hawkeye die to be honest, but um, Hawkeye, yeah. oh, I don't like Hawkeye. Hawkeye, <laughs> 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 Hawkeye is just soft. Oh, and also like, I'm really looking forward to. I don't know when it's dropping. John Wick Four. Whenever they drop that, I'm, going to I'm ready to see that. I'm ready. I'll be right there in the theater for that. 20 episodes or uh, 20 movies of John Wick. I'm going to go see all of them. Every single one. So I know good. like another Matrix movie. We, mm-hmm. don't, uh, we don't need it. We didn't ask for it. Uh, number three wasn't that good. Um, we don't need it. I didn't finish the third one. What y'all going? What y'all going to do in the Matrix? Like the slow motion shit ain't cool no more. I know. That's y'all big thing. That's so true. Storyline. <laughs> and maybe maybe they'll, you know, update it and it'll be super good. Who knows? Who knows? Technology is booming right now. So the graphics will be amazing. But um, this has been the Harris Show. I've been your boy Jamal Radio Raheem and my sister Angie Ann. We're going to see y'all next time. We've been rambling a lot. So peace. Oh.